I lead the arts organisation Flipside and we are part of the Great Places Making Waves Together project uh, and so we generated this idea uh, for the Wind Power project. I think our idea for the project was that it would connect local children with something that's very important in this town which is wind. They live in such a unique place because we have the offshore energy industry, we have the waterways, it's, it all interconnects and Great Yarmouth is our special place. But we also wanted local children to have fun, so we wanted them to actually have a sort of experiential time in the wind and to make something that would react to the wind. So we hoped that the different elements of the project would sort of bring those things together. We had a great time when everyone was all together in St George's Theatre, um, which was a sort of collective day of listening and participating in making, finding out about wind energy from the Wind Energy Museum, and that was really interesting. We wanted to allow the children to create something in the short space of time that they could see was a piece of art, but the art moved in some form or another. So we came up with the idea of a card. The idea is you could take that on a windy day and hold the front of the card and the rear flap of the card would move in the wind and you would see the picture that you'd sketched up but the eyeballs looking left and right. Um, we even had some children where the eyeballs were kind of curling up and, and thinking how did you do that? Um, so they were kind of getting all sorts of finished products out of this thing but something very quick and easy for them to get a um, satisfaction from. They met David at the theatre, they'd learnt about his work, what it means to be a sculptor, but also about kinetic art. Today's been a, a really interesting day. It was talking about my work and about the Venetian waterways and the sculpture which I'm making for the Venetian waterways. But it was, it was really just telling them about my work as an artist, how I became an artist, and how I became a kinetic artist and how I work with the wind to uh, activate my sculptures. Genevieve approached me to say that they were doing a wind themed project. So she said, could I design a toy that was powered by the wind? So for me, it was an opportunity to design something new, which I always love to do, um, and came up with the sail racer. And the sail racer kit that I hope children can build in about an hour and a half and they can customise it, add to it, but it's basically it's something that they can put on a road surface outside on a nice windy day to get them outside um, and will power itself with the wind. The flip side then approached the schools with the idea of what we we're offering, running a number of workshops uh, with, alongside the teachers to get the children to all build their own sail racer. This project came about after years of decline in the waterways. Um, it was built in 1928, hand dug by men returning from the war and it was always an absolute fantastic place to be on the East Coast. About four years ago, we applied for lottery funding, heritage funding, to restore it back to its former glory. It was quite an exciting morning. The most exciting part was actually getting the, manoeuvring the plinth across this kind of rickety pontoon onto the island. I was quite lucky that it all, <laughs> all went smoothly, but uh, it's up in position now. The wind speeds are, um, I don't know, it, four or five miles an hour so it's really quite gentle now so it's just oscillating nicely in the wind and it is it's lovely to see it in position. The situation of, of the Venetian waterways on the seafront like this with the wind farm sort of array out at sea is a wonderful setting for a piece of kinetic art. There is this synergy actually between what's happening out there when you look out at sea and the sculpture in the gardens and then this sort of continual movement and oscillation is rather beautiful so I think it works really well. It's quite easy to engage with kinetic work then that is a, a, a key point it may be the only time they've seen the sculpture that they think actually I enjoy that sculpture and it opens up different avenues of thought really. The, the kids were great they all came in their hordes and we're all lined up along the seafront, uh, all with their amazing creations that they'd done. Um, they were so proud of what they'd created, and it was just lovely to see them play with it. We could have done with a bit more wind. They're all working. You can see the kind of stints and starts as they kind of get going, and, and the wheels of excitement from the children as, as they kind of see them moving. But lovely. Yeah, really nice kind of finale to the whole thing. I, I was kind of hoping today I, I might 
see a few faces out there who were inspired by one by my work is that it is possible to be an artist and have a career as an artist but you don't necessarily know that when you're eight years old or even when you're 15 years old you think it's something that perhaps isn't for you but there are ways if you're determined and you like art and then there's no reason why you can't pursue uh, an artistic career. So the park is 91 years this year and this sculpture is part of the next story of the park. When we create products of today, we need to be thinking much more about the materials we're choosing, where those materials are coming from, are they sustainable, and the potential to power them with the wind, the sun, etc. is incredibly exciting. And to think different about the everyday products they buy, about why those things are on the coast, what they're doing for us, um, how they're providing electricity but powered by a completely different source that is sustainable and appreciating that as something of beauty, um, magnificence and a, a, a kind of a level of intelligence that we want to encourage more and more. <music>